Yes, fellow Blues, what a great news from the Chelsea camp. Aaron Asemeno to Chelsea is almost a done deal. Remember this morning, Saturday, Chelsea officially announced the signing of Omari Kelima from Aston Villa for £19 million. Another 18 years old for a six years deal till 2030, subject to one year extension. Meanwhile, there is also an imminent announcement we are expecting from Chelsea. If you know that player, kindly go back to the comment section to let us know that player that we are expecting Chelsea to announce very soon. Probably later today or Monday, Chelsea could just be announcing the sign of this player. But before we dive into this video proper, talking about the latest Chelsea news and more, I'm Alex here on Chelsea as well as I'm always here to bring you the latest Chelsea news and more happening from our football world. Please, if you're a football lover, football, uh, Chelsea fan, kindly go on to share this video. Uh, destroy the like button and also leave a comment below. Thank you. All right, fellow Blues, according to the latest sports channels, Chelsea are closing in for Argentine central back from Boca Junior, another 18 years old. The deal will cost Chelsea less than $25 million, according to a report from football transfer expert Fabrizio Romano. Uh, Chelsea has been tracking this talented player for quite some time, but this summer, Chelsea decided to go in with all full force, with all full force, testing the water with an opening bid, and now it's not subject for both clubs to agree on the deal. Personal terms has been agreed with this player, so the only thing we like the oldest deal from it being a year ago is that Boca Junior are asking Chelsea for them to hold this player for additional six months or one year loan. That is, if Chelsea sign this player, this player will join Chelsea this summer. They will hold this player till December or till next year, summer 2025. Just like when Chelsea signed the likes of Estavo Willian, uh, Kenji Perez, they not join Chelsea immediately. But for this case, it is different because this player don't reach 18 years. According to the rule, he don't reach to move to another country or come Europe. But Boca Junior had the plate say, okay, if Chelsea sign this guy now, yes, not Chelsea player, but he will stay with them for additional six months or one year. So that is just the only thing stopping this deal. So it therefore means that in coming as if all contract documents are settled, are signed, uh, all the I's are being dotted, it therefore means that Chelsea could just be announcing another signing. Then moving on to other Chelsea related news, according to reports, Deuce Briot deal is still very much alive. Like, according to the latest that Chelsea, in terms of personal terms, it will not be an issue for Deuce Briot. Deuce Briot truly want to move down to Chelsea, and also considering the fact that Enzo Maresca is fully behind this deal, that is his former coach at Leicester. So, what we are just expecting or what we are waiting for is for Chelsea and Leicester to agree on this deal. But according to the report that Chelsea are insisting that a player must be part of that is as a separate deal, more of like Leicester could buy player from Chelsea and <laughs> I don't really understand if all these are, are, are tactics which Todd Bowley and Co are using to bypass the uh, FFP rule. That is, if they the sign player that they say give you, just like the case of Aston Villa, Chelsea say I am asking they collect one attack player from them. So now that same thing, I just they insist for Deuce Bureau the like. If we buy Deuce Bureau from, from now, now we also collect one player from us, but separate D. You understand? So probably this is the attempt of them trying to put in the right pegs at the right goal, square pegs on the square wall. That is align some players to leave, they are bringing in players that will best suit the incoming coach. That is what may I perceive and also an attempt of bypassing the FFP so that the sale of a player will be recorded as a direct profit while the coming of a the incoming of a player will balance things off. So probably that has their own tactics. And moving on to other Chelsea related news, we are still expecting Chelsea to officially announce the signing of uh Mark Gill from Barcelona. If not today, later today, Saturday, therefore means that on Monday Chelsea should be announcing the a striker. Though report has come, several report is of that Chelsea may be loaning this player to Aston Villa. But for me, these reports are not trusted yet. I cannot report on that. But as a stand, Chelsea are not planning to loan Mark Gill 
to to any team or to Serbia for now. But one thing I'm very sure of as at now is that Chelsea may still be targeting a top a top profile striker despite the sign of Mark Gill. Then moving on to other related news according to the report that we are getting that Chelsea could just be selling County Chukwe Maker to AC Milan. AC Milan are interested for the services of County Chukwe Maker. Remember Chelsea signed this player for around 20 million pounds for same Aston Villa, just like Rudy signed for Mary uh, Kelima that was announced this morning. Chelsea will sign County Chukwe Maker as a promising talent and no doubt Kanye Chukwe Maker has been fantastic, but just that injury not let the young man see the four corners of Stamford Bridge. Like, let the guy display that talent when we don't see for for few games when the guys don't play. Like for me, Kanye Chukwe Maker is one of my or one of the most exciting talents for me among all the players when just sign. Apart from Kupama when he performed well, but the rest of them almost the experts say okay, they will show us what they possess. For me, Kanye Chukwe Maker should be my favorite and it's similar coming for him but chelsea are insisting that if you must sign kanish maker it must be on a permanent day we are not loaning with obligation to buy so that may not come in that situation just like Lukaku situation whereby after chess is all known this player to the finish then you see the content the content that said no one sign this player no chelsea won't get better agreement either you are getting him for permanent or leave him you understand? So, do you think it would be right for Chelsea to allow Kanye Chukwemeka to go? Remember, we've acquired another exciting talent according to paper, waiting the paper. Say, Omar Kelimana, another attacking talent. So, the problem is that Chelsea may not, may not be able to keep all these attacking talent. So, we have to go. They will have to vacate their position because now 11 players now will start. Even if you say yes, we're going to get substitutes, we're going to, we to get players for extra players for various positions. But you could discuss some positions so that they get past three players. And if we have to go by that standard three times 11, that means that we have 30 something players. And for a Premier League season, we can only register about 25 senior players. So, meaning the rest will be forced to be registered alongside maybe the rest of Chelsea Academy boys. Um, as Chelsea designed these players, just when you talk about loan, do loan fee come up later, sharp. This could just be a strategy to secure the service of this player, then later on they may not decide to sell this player, but not deviating too far. Do you think it would be good for Chelsea to allow County to pay maker to go on a permanent basis? But Chelsea should still give him probably one season to see if injury, if you shake off injury, then prove to us what he tell us when Chelsea don't balance say. We will see a kind of player that we've not seen before. Stanford Bridge. All right, these are the confirmed transfer rumors from the Chelsea camp. Remember, not until Chelsea announced these players officially, they are not yet a Chelsea player. They have not left Chelsea yet. But for that, of Omari Ochisin and I swear I must have been confirmed both this switch and Aston Villa respectively. So as the new week approaches we hope to get more reports to know where chelsea football club will, will be heading to so far so good the summer transfer has not taken us by surprise because previous summer transfer under the same administration chelsea has always been that busy signing players here and there whereby most of us will be like if you walk up past time for research you get dread if you book you for medical but let's say this time around that players when you get this kind of air then they sign up Mark Gill, uh, uh, Omari, Kelima. So, you never may say, I feel just walk past Stanford Bridge now. Who knows? 